Hi, this is Weber from PhotoCare. Today I'm going to be taking you through printing from Adobe Photoshop CS5 to an Epson printer. Um, so once you have your file open and all of the changes that you're going to make to it done, uh, you're going to click on Edit up here in the top left, and you're looking for the color settings right down here. So once that pops up, uh, normally the dialog box is going to initially look like this, and then uh, you're going to go ahead and click More Options here. That's going to give you the rest of the controls for the color settings here. So the first thing that you want to do is make sure that you're working in Adobe RGB 1998. Uh, this is the color space that a lot of the printers are going to use. It just is going to give you a better result from the image. Um, so if you make a print and it looks kind of green or has a, a weird tinge to it, go ahead and check your color settings first and make sure that uh, Adobe 1998 is selected. Uh, the second thing that you're going to do is make sure that your RGB, CMYK, and gray color management policies are set the way that you'd like them. So what this means is, you know, if you select convert to working RGB, if your file is in a different color space, it's going to change that color space when you import the file. Uh, but if you, you know, leave these selected as they are right now and make sure that ask when opening is checked for all of them, you can make a decision about that when you when it comes to opening that particular file uh, for your conversion options you want to make sure that your engine is Adobe uh, your relative color metric rendering intent uh, this will vary but for the most part you're gonna want to, uh, to work out a perceptual um, if you mouse over each one of these you'll see down at the bottom it gives you a brief description of what each one's going to do and where it becomes relevant um, but really, the, for most printing, uh, Perceptual is going to give you the best result. So once you have those all selected, uh, you can go and click OK up here in the top corner of that dialog box. So the second thing that we're going to do is we're going to view the image with proofed colors applied to it. So if you click on View up here and go to Proof Setup, select custom this is going to allow you to apply your paper profile before you actually print it so this is going to try to give you an idea of uh, how the the warmth of the paper the contrast of the paper is going to affect the eventual quality so we're gonna be printing on a premium luster photo paper so we're printing to our, our 3880 here so we're gonna go ahead and select this profile and you're not going to notice a huge difference for this paper profile, but as I click it on and off, there's a little bit of a change there. Um, so this is going to give you an idea of what your print is going to look like before you actually print it. So now that all of your color settings are applied, we're going to go ahead and click File, Print. So this is the print window. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go into our print settings here and make sure that we have the correct printer set. So we're going to print to our 3880. And the second thing that you're going to do is by scrolling down to printer settings, um, this is going to give you a lot of the options that we're looking for. So for media type, we already have our luster paper selected. Um, but what this is, is it uh, lets the printer know how much ink to lay down, uh, how thick the paper is going to be. It gives it an idea of what kind of surface it's working with. So I have super fine selected, and uh, I'll check finest detail here. So once we're done in the Epson dialog box, uh, we can go ahead and click Save. And <coughs> the next step that we're going to take is we're going to change our color handling to Photoshop manages colors. So this is where we're going to apply the ICC profile that Epson has made for their paper. Uh, when you install the printer driver for all of the Epson printers, uh, they automatically load in the ICC profile for each paper type. So you can see right here that our Epson Stylus Pro 3880 uh, Premium Luster Photo Paper ICC profile is already loaded in. So we'll go ahead and select that. This is going to try to reproduce the colors in the image as closely to what we see when uh, we look at the screen or a print. So once you have all of your settings made, uh, just make sure that your file is going to fit onto your page. So I'll click Scale to Fit Media there, and we will go ahead and print it. For more videos like this, you can find us at facebook.com slash photocare or twitter.com slash photocare. 
you can also find us at our website, www.photocare.com.